In this video, I'm going to show you how to fly with motion control. The X-Lite Pro has a six axis motion sensor, and I'm going to show you how to set it up. So go to your mixer and let's add some motion control to your pitch and roll. So let's start with the aileron and choose insert after. So once you've created the mix, first you want to change the source and you want to put gyro X and we need to set the weight to negative 100. And then let's make this switchable. So set the switch to this switch back here and make sure that arrow is pointing down. That way by default, you can fly with your sticks and turn on motion control anytime you'd like. So for the elevator, you follow the same process and set it to gyro Y, but do positive 100. And finally for yaw, I thought it'd be a good idea to mix in just a little bit of gyro. Here I did negative 40. Now you can test your switch, and when you flip your switch, all your mixes should turn bold. Now let's go into beta flight and see how everything works. Now if you go to the receiver tab, you should see the roll, pitch, and yaw adjust according to the angle of the radio. And when you flip the switch, the motion control should be disabled, and you should have normal control. Now we can go to the PID tuning tab and adjust the rates. I found that lower rates work better for this because it's really twitchy and the gyro is very sensitive. And you can see that the stick still works, so you have both gyro and stick control. And you may even want to combine them in flight and reduce the effectiveness of the gyro maybe to 10-20% and see if it can supplement your normal flying. Now here's a quick look at my PIDs and rates. You can see that I've got fairly low rates for my pitch and roll and I've got my yaw pretty much set to normal. And here's what we're flying. It's a highly modified e sheet and trash can. So let's see some flight footage. So before I started this, I thought it would just be absurd and impossible to fly, but it actually turns out to be fairly doable. And this flight here is after about eight to 10 packs. And it's actually able to fly somewhat competently, definitely not as well as I could on the sticks, but um, I was surprised how well I could fly with the gyro. So this video was mainly meant to just be a proof of concept and it actually turned out to work better than I expected, but uh, I'm not sure if I would actually fly like this. Maybe if I practice enough, I could do pretty well, but there might be some practical application if you mix in just a little bit of motion control into your normal stick inputs. One idea might be to replace your yaw and maintain your pitch and roll on the stick, so that way you don't need to yaw with your throttle stick. Or you could play around with FPV camera angle mode and fly your quad as if it were a wing. But um, this could be a really good application for flying wings for cruising. Um, there's really a, a lot of possibilities. Of course, it works well for uh, controlling a, a gimbal if you want to uh, control your camera while you're flying. But uh, I think for most of us that are flying FPV, we're not too interested in using gimbals. Anyway, I thought this was a really cool feature and I just wanted to showcase it and see how easy it is to implement. And um, if you come up with any interesting ideas or any uh, videos, then please uh, feel free to share them in the comments. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you can subscribe and have a great day.